Hey guys, I'm so excited for this video because this is going to be over a couple weeks, so it's not just going to be the single clip of today. I'm going to make this into like kind of a vlog slash experience, whatever you want to call it, of me getting LASIK. Well, fingers crossed that I get LASIK. I'm just going to talk so far like with the process of, it's not really that long, but like we're just going to talk a second in case anyone is interested in getting it just some like background about me and like my eyesight and everything i started wearing glasses in third or i think third grade i could not see the chalkboard at all i guess i'm nearsighted i can't see far away i wore glasses up until my senior year of high school i finally went and got contacts so i wore glasses for a good majority of my life was i wearing them like all day long no when I, I would put them in my little case and take them on and off when i would need them to like read the chalkboard in school and whatever so maybe that's why my vision got worse <laughs> as i got older so right now i currently am using bosch and loam i think is how you pronounce them and both of my eyes i'm negative 4.00 so yeah i really only wear my glasses at night when i take my contacts out first thing in the morning and then typically I have my contacts in all day because it's easier, like it's more convenient. Anyways though, with the LASIK, just some background information. If you do wear contacts kind of like how I do, you're not going to be able to wear them. I wear soft lenses, but basically you cannot wear them seven days before your pre-op and then seven days before your surgery. So today was my last day. After I got off the phone with the lady that I spoke to, I just took my contacts out. Technically starting tomorrow would be like i cannot wear them at all but i'm like you know what i'll just get a head start whatever i know my phone's kind of back far They're, maybe we'll stay i broke my tripod kind of let me just start from the beginning uh and then i'll talk more about the whole contact situation so i had googled just lasik eye surgery places near me there's no one there's maybe like one or two by me but there was either only one review and it was a five star review or there was no reviews at all so i went a little bit further from where i live about like an hour and i found this place acuity i think is how you pronounce it it's like a franchise i'm pretty sure so it's not just like one single place i don't know if they have them all over but so my mom had called them and i i know y'all i'm the type of person i don't like making appointments for myself okay i think she called them on monday and then they had scheduled like a phone conference with the both of us for today which was wednesday like two days later it was only like a 20 minute phone call and i was like low-key stressed for it i hate talking on the phone and i'm like paranoid like oh my god are we gonna be facetiming like are they gonna tell me to put my eye to the camera it was literally a phone call there was no facetime and honestly it wasn't even bad the lady pretty much talked the whole time and she was super nice just telling me information there's different types of surgery that you can get depending on your eye situation is. She was just describing how it works that the doctor goes in and like cuts your cornea and I'm like, if I see this, what's happening, I think I'm going to pass out. He cuts your cornea, there's a flap. There were three different things and each one, the results ultimately the same. It's just kind of price range and recovery time so there was one that the recovery is a little bit longer and it's not the one that i am trying to go for so the one i want the recovery time is a little bit faster it's like one to three days and then she gave the prices for it and that was about it then she sent over an email that just had more information and then also some things that like kind of instructions that you have to do before during after so i'm actually going to go out to target because you have to start cleaning your eyelids just to get it like prepped for the surgery. So you have to get these specific wipes or cleanser that the doctor wants you to get. And they also sent me a coupon for another thing. You have to also get artificial tears, which are like eye drops. But um, I just want to get everything so then that way I'm not like running to the store after like rushing around. As I was saying about contacts, I didn't really know this, but it kind of makes sense. You know, when you wear contacts, I'm sure your cornea and your eye is adjusting to fit into the contact. So that's pretty much like what she was saying that you have to stop wearing them because they want your eye to just be its normal shape, the cornea be its normal shape and everything. There is a possibility and like I feel like I always have bad luck with things. Some people might not be able to get it based off of like their eye shape. I don't care. To give me new eyeballs. I don't need like adjust my cornea. Just cut it in half if you have to. I don't even know. You also can't wear any eye makeup prior to both pre-op and the surgery and then like after i wrote down like a little note here no eye makeup starting january 31st 
so I have a couple more days. My pre-op is February 3rd and then my surgery date is the 10th as long as everything goes okay. She did say that both days were going to be pretty long. The procedure itself isn't long for the surgery but the pre-op she said it's going to be about two hours but I'll update after that. I think that was like the basis of everything. I'll talk to you guys after my pre-op so. I will see you then. Got back from Target. These are two of the things that I need for this. This one, the lid scrub is what I was talking about. Like you have to clean it and whatever. So they want me to start doing this today. Eye drops, which I don't think I will need until obviously after it is done. This was like $10. This was $16.99, but they send you a coupon, a $5 off coupon. So together this was like $20. For as much as the surgery is, I feel like they could give this to you. At my pre-op appointment. Hello everyone. So I went to my pre-op appointment this morning and let me just say I was anxious. I was stressed for this. So I'm happy that it's over. So I was just like really paranoid because I'm like, I'm gonna be so frustrated if I'm doing all of this lid eye treatments and I go to the doctor and they're like, yeah, we can't actually do it. Sorry for getting your hopes up. So I was just like really, you know, I couldn't wait for this appointment all week. So finally nine o'clock this morning, it was time for this appointment. So we got there, they actually opened right at nine too. It was me and my mom, we were the first ones there. They say that you can drive for the pre-op, but it was raining. I've never gotten my eyes dilated before, so I didn't know how I was gonna be. They were really sensitive to the light cause it was like raining, but it was really bright outside, so. I'm kind of happy she drove anyways. I just had to fill out some paperwork when I first got there and then I went back with a girl. I don't want to call her a nurse, but maybe like the doctor's assistant or something. I'm not really sure what I should call her. But anyways, it wasn't the doctor. And pretty much they do an eye exam where you look into the thing and you see a balloon or see whatever image. So I went into that first room and then they take you into like the exam room where you read the letters, you know, that are reflecting and I'm blind as shape. Um, I got 26 letters to choose, right? 26 letters in the alphabet. I got 26 to choose from. Let me see which one looks the best. But the girl was super nice though. Everyone there was really friendly. My only complaint about my appointment today would be the waiting time and i understand a lot of time at doctors and hospitals like you wait a ridiculous amount of time they said that the appointment was going to be two hours long but it was a little bit over two hours and honestly it did not need to be two hours it was just i swear like an hour of it was just waiting for the doctor i was probably sitting in that exam room for about like a half hour a different girl came in and said that the doctor's running late but he'll be there shortly and then he finally came and he's like, I'm sorry, the weather, it was raining. So I'm like, okay, I, I got it. That, I know, like, I sound like a Karen. But so he just asked me the same questions that I filled out on the paperwork that the lady asked me. And then he looked at my eyes himself. And as he's looking at them, of course, you guys, I swear, I say all the time, like, I have the worst look. And I think that's also why I was, like, really anxious, too. What do we think happens, everyone? Apparently, okay, I'm, like, very... I guess insecure like I pick myself apart I know my nose is kind of big but today this was news to me I apparently have small eyes you guys okay without makeup they do look kind of small <laughs> so he was like looking into my eyes and lifting them up and looking into my eye into my soul pretty much and he just said that my eyes are really small for LASIK and it's gonna be hard for him to get in there and make like the flap that they have to do for LASIK. So I'm like, okay, um, is this appointment over? Should I just go home now? It's fine, can't get LASIK, but there are other options. So I'm going with PRK, which is photoreactive keratotomy. I looked it up on Google, um, how to pronounce it, but I forgot already. Photoreactive keratotomy, that's what I'm gonna go with. And then there's also another one, like an epi, which is just more of an expensive option. And I'm not going to say what the girl said because I don't want to get her fired. <laughs> so I'm going with that, which is a little bit different, but ultimately the result is the same. So instead of like the whole flap thing, like with LASIK, they just do something differently. You don't get the flap. Going back to that same girl that I was just mentioning, she said that PRK kind of might be a better option in case I rub my eyes a lot because there's the possibility from rubbing your eyes that you can undo the flap. The only thing that I don't know if I'm crazy about is like the post-op. I know you have to wear like some bandage contact sort of thing. And I was looking at people on Google who got it done 
and like i don't want to insert any pictures like it's not gross oh my god i, I don't want to go anywhere with these freaking bandages on my eye that was pretty much the basis of my appointment is that i'm not going to get lasik i'm going to get prk so then he dilated my pupils which i think they're back to normal now but i was looking freaking crazy it was kind of scary i'm like damn nobody look at me right now like i look like a freaking vampire or something i don't even know i went and sat in another room with my eyes closed i swear i was there for like a half hour because the doctor again was with another patient another like assistant girl came in and took me into a different room which they wanted to test my vision again now that it was dilated and she put like some numbing cream in it i looked at the balloon again and then went back into the exam room waited for the doctor for i swear another 20 minutes and read the letters that was pretty much it. it gave me some paperwork gave me the prescriptions that i need to get i'm assuming if you're watching this video you most likely are interested in getting it done or you are getting it done so i'm gonna go get some of the paperwork and just read like about post-op my paper got a little wet because it was raining when i was leaving today <laughs> this is prk for nearsightedness you have to keep your eyes closed as much as possible for 12 hours you can't be on your phone you can't watch tv your computer you can't be reading they say take a three to four hour nap so i hope this nap is like six hours because i don't know what i'm gonna do that's, that sounds kind of bad but like not on my phone for 12 hours it's like a whole day that's half a day guys you have to get all your eye drop stuff wear protective goggles for the first 24 hours after surgery after you're seen for your one day post-op you'll need to wear them when you sleep for one week i've never slept with like a face not face mask a eye sleeping mask so i'm kind of <laughs> intrigued to see how these goggles are gonna feel there's all this information about these different eye drops there's three different things listed i don't know i'm assuming you need all of them because it don't really seem like optional i showed earlier with this refresh one this is the artificial tears though so i must need or is those that might be the prescription actually okay never mind so they give you two prescriptions that i have to drop off and those are what the top two are but this doctor and probably most doctors are very kind of like strict about taking certain vitamins and stuff so do not take any vitamin c collagen or chondro chondroitin i'll put it in there because i can't pronounce that supplements for three months following surgery you can't swim for 10 days after no fresh water swimming for 14 days nothing that makes you sweat for one week after surgery no public gym for one week just like when you're showering not to let the shower hit you directly in the face a lot of this kind of depends on the type of person you are and what you have planned for after immediately so you know if you're going on vacation you can't be snorkeling scuba diving rock climbing you no know, riding motorcycles or snowmobiles a lot of this doesn't really apply to me i don't do any of that I don't mow the lawn, so I don't really care about that. This one, you will need to wear wraparound sunglasses every time you go outside during daylight hours for the next six months. No eye makeup or foundation around eyes for one week after surgery, and it says to start with new products, which honestly I might just because I feel like the stuff might be like ir irritating my eye and I'd rather just be safe. Redness or bruising on the whites of eyes may be present is normal. Do not rub your eyes for at least one month after surgery. So going to my appointment, I pretty much went in like with the minimal amount of makeup. Obviously no eye makeup. I wasn't too sure about my eyebrows. I go in with a pencil, a pomade and everything. I went on Google trying to find out and I saw on Reddit that someone said like an eyebrow pencil would be okay. But then they were also saying like the main reason they don't want you having any type of makeup on around the eyes is because when they actually do the surgery particles can fall into your eye and like really affect it i just don't want any type of flaking or something happening i was actually happy that i didn't put them on today because they would have gotten smudged a lot from putting my face on the thing and reading everything and also like he was going in like you know lifting my eyebrow up and stuff so if you do your brows that's just something random i would just suggest going in kind of minimal makeup nothing in the eye area and then next week I'm going in. You can't wear any lotions or creams around your eyes. That was everything. I'll update you guys after the surgery, give more information, give like more about the recovery. But for now, that is it. I will see you guys next week.